We're looking at the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 28 through 40, which is the episode in the Gospel of Luke where Jesus triumphantly rides into Jerusalem, a day that we mark and celebrate in the church as Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter. It's the Sunday that is the outset of Holy Week. Now, uh, maybe your uh, sermon on Sunday or maybe your reading on Sunday might be the Passion reading, but we're going to actually look at the Triumphal Entry reading since it is Palm Sunday. The entire Sunday is orient oriented around what takes place here, which is Jesus riding from Mount of Olivet into Jerusalem, the days leading up to his uh, arrest, trial, and crucifixion resurrection. Now, what happens in the triumphal entry is, of course, the central factor for all of the stuff that has been swirling around Jesus throughout the Gospel of Luke. The main questions that are uh, taken up in the Gospel according to Luke and much of the other Gospel texts as well have to do mainly with the identity and the authority of Jesus. You'll notice this when you go back and read through the first few chapters, first several chapters, actually, of the Gospel of Luke. There are several questions swirling around who is Jesus? How do the wind or why do the wind and the waves obey him? Why do his words have so much authority, not like the scribes? The question of his authority and the question of his identity run throughout the entire Gospel of Luke. And here in Luke chapter 19, verse 28, the question of Jesus' identity and authority really come home to roost in Jerusalem. You find this most notably at the end of the Gospel reading. In the latter portion, specifically in verses 39, the Pharisees are coming up trying to get the disciples of Jesus to be quiet. They don't want to make a huge scuttlebutt in Jerusalem, and they especially don't want the disciples identifying Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of David, the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the one who is to be petitioned, as many of the people are in the day of Palm Sunday, Hosanna, the save us, right, save us now, this imperative declaration that many of the people in Israel, and in the Gospel of Luke, it is all of his disciples, are crying out for Jesus to do and to save and to redeem. This is a question of his, of course, identity. Is he the Messiah? Is, the, is he the one with the authority of God to establish the kingdom of God as the Messiah was proclaimed and the promise was given to David? Is Jesus this guy? That question hangs over this section in the Gospel of Luke. And what we are reminded of here in this day of Palm Sunday, of course, as inheritors of this account of Luke and inheritors of this kingdom that we did not establish, is that, yes, indeed, Jesus is the one with the identity and the authority to forgive sins, to establish a kingdom that is the rule and reign of God on earth amongst a group of people, which is what we see happening in the triumphal entry. We see his disciples riding with him and alongside him into Jerusalem, hailing and praising him as the one who will save and the one who will make right all the things that have been made wrong by sin, death, and the power of the devil. And so on Palm Sunday, we rightly too also take up the celebration and the rejoice of the people of Israel as they see their Messiah riding into Jerusalem to reestablish the rule and reign of God on earth. Now, yeah, of course, maybe some of the people in Israel, even some of Jesus' disciples, are a little bit misguided and still unsure about exactly what all that entails, but that doesn't make them any different from us in the present day. We are similarly disciples, but we still have questions and dark blank spots on our souls and bodies oftentimes where we're not 100% sure what the reign and the rule of God as it comes upon us through the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit are meant to do. How is it supposed to look? How is it supposed to function? Which is why Palm Sunday is such a great reminder for you and for me. We are, as God's people, inundated with the reality that Jesus has come. He brings pleasures eternal and he establishes the rule and reign of God. Now we are on an adventure with the disciples as they will be throughout the trial of this week and into the resurrection scenes about actually all that this entails and what all this precipitates for us as Christians now living on this side of the resurrection and looking forward to the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ once again. Thanks for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.